Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Maker tutorials. Um, we're going to finish out this week with a little bit of coding. Uh, I have background in coding. I used to code a lot and uh, in NAV and I don't do it as much anymore or if at all even though this is really interesting um, and I wish I was coding more I just have to pick the time that I use and the things that I want to do um, so anyways if we go into this code over here uh, this is a code I got sort of on the internet just copy pasted and made it run uh, it's basically showing you how coding would work in AL and if you're familiar with the old environment, the old environment, you would actually go into the table and add a field there, go into the page, add a field there, etc. You can do that to some respect inside uh, an AV, but right now we're doing much more in code, which I think is fine. Um, <clears throat> so for example, here, we have a table extension. We're extending a table, which table? We're extending the customer table, okay? We call this extension Retail Winter Sports Store. Uh, and in here, what we're going to do is add a field. So I only have to specify the field that I'm adding. So inside the fields here, I have a field. Uh, it's number 50,120. It's called shoe size. Uh, and on validate, we have a trigger that uh, makes sure that we're not putting less than zero. And, uh, and that's it. Now, of course, this is the table. We need to also put it on the page. So here we have a page extension, uh, which extends the customer card. I'm actually gonna call this, uh, I'll leave it as that. And here in the layout, in the general uh, tab, we're adding the shoe size. And uh, on validate, uh, if the shoe size is less than 10, it's gonna display if it are too small. So just to show you how we actually operate in this, I'm gonna add one more field. So I go here into the fields, right? And I can use something called a snippet, which is, if I start with a T, uh, I can just do T field, which is table field. It automatically fills in uh, what I need to type. So here I'm gonna call it 50,122, and I just tap through, I'm gonna call it coffee fan so if it's a if that customer is a fan of coffee i want to know it's a boolean obviously i would never do this in real life but anyways um and i don't need anything more just gonna leave that empty that empty there's no trigger or anything on this one i would like to show this uh, field also on the page so i go here into the page into the layout uh, i'm fine with it showing uh, in the general tab. So I'm just going to add that here. And we have actually T, uh, I think it's T field page down here. That'll fill that out. Uh, and I want it to be, what is it? Coffee, coffee fan. And that is the coffee fan. Now it picked up, you can see as I'm writing, I'm going to do it again. See, it understands that coffee fan is now a field of a table that's defined above. So it's very quick to pick up those things. Um, and we want the caption ML in here. That is actually important to define that. I have problems if I don't do that. So I'll put that as um, coffee fan, like so. So now I just save it um, and it's good. So just, I just go up to debug. I gotta make sure that I'm not already debugging. Uh, and then I just say, start debugging. And uh, I run this and it connects to the server, uh, the Docker server. I log in uh, and I get the customer list. So if I go into customer cart, I can now see I have shoe size and coffee fan. So I've added these fields here. Uh, and also if I wanted to put something like negative five, that's not valid. So my trigger is working. 
Uh, it also says the feet are too small. Okay, so that's another trigger that was in there. Um, so hopefully you, you get this. This is actually how we code now in AL. So it's a little bit different than uh, the way we did it in CAL or CAL. Um, but uh, the idea behind this was a little bit go into, you know, showing you that environment. Uh, I doubt that I'll go much more into AL. Maybe I'll do, who knows? But uh, I think I'll start on another functional topic next week. So hope you enjoyed this, got something out of it. Uh, have a great weekend until next week.